you ask about the day after. To have an after, we must have a before. And the before obviously conditions the after. And that is why I've been insisting on the need for a humanitarian ceasefire, on uh, unrestricted access uh, for humanitarian aid, on the liberation of hostages, and uh, on the need to end the violations of international humanitarian law and the protection of civilians. But having said so, I think it's also important to be able to transform this tragedy into an opportunity. And for that to be possible, it is essential that after the war, we move in a determined and irreversible way to a two-state solution. Now, that means, of course, uh, that after the war, and this is my opinion, uh, uh, I believe it would be important to have a strengthened Palestinian Authority assuming responsibilities in Gaza. I understand that the Palestinian Authority cannot come with the Israeli tanks in Gaza, which means that the international community needs to look into a transition period. I do not think that a UN protectorate in Gaza is a solution. I think we will need a multi-stakeholder uh, approach in which different countries, different entities will cooperate. For Israel, of course, the US is the main guarantor of its security. For Palestinians, the neighboring and uh, uh, Arab countries of the region are essential. So everybody needs to come together to create the conditions for a transition, allowing for the Palestinian Authority, uh, a strengthened Palestinian Authority, to assume responsibilities in Gaza. And then, based on that, to finally move, as I said, in a determined and irreversible way to a two-state solution, based on uh, the principles that have been uh, largely uh, 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 established by the international community and which I have time and time again outlined. Now, without entering into uh, discussing the accuracy of the numbers that were published by uh, the uh, de facto authorities uh, in Gaza, what is clear is that we have had, in a few weeks, thousands of children killed. So, this is what matters. We are witnessing a killing of civilians that is unparalleled and unprecedented in any conflict since I am Secretary General.